Tusty! What's going on, everybody? What's going on, comrades? Drewski and Hunty Yellow Buckets. Back for another toasty review. This first, first time together. Collaboration time, baby. Yeah. As you guys know, I'm from Michigan. This is uh, Wisconsin. We're in Beloit right now. Heck yeah. Uh, we're at the Flying Pig. Like, they got a ton of stuff, like right? shaved ice and uh, huge cookies. Yeah. So pretty much everything that's bad for you, you can get here. Yeah, but it's good. And the prices aren't too bad, man. The prices aren't too bad. So yeah, like we said, this is our first time being together. This is my first yeah. time I was able to get out to Wisconsin. First time in four years, almost five. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, because little do you guys know, I actually graduated here. Uh, I only went here for a year, and Drew is my best friend. So when he asked me to join Yellow Buckets, I was like, you fuck yeah, you tired. Yeah, dude. Glad to have you here, man. Thanks, brother. Thanks. So, comrades. Toast your review time. We got uh, two different drinks right now. I got a mint chocolate Oreo shake, medium. Yeah, and I got a... I've never had a bubble tea, but I've heard they're dope. Uh, it's mango with pineapple tapioca uh, bead things. Beads. <laughs> yeah, beads. Uh, Giggity. And uh, you pretty much just take... Fat straw. <laughs> this fat ass straw and you... Poke it through there. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> she was like, oh shit. <laughs> that almost seemed like it was going to go bad. Yeah, right? No, I was, I was scared for a second. <laughs> All right. Cheers, brother. Yeah, man. Let's give this a go. Oh my goodness, oh my god. What am I doing with all my life not <laughs> drinking this shit? This is dope. Do <laughs> so you want to go first? Oh my man? god, yeah. Okay, all right. first of all, let's show you all the texture. It looks just like a normal shake. But, but, it's literally like you take your, any, just imagine your favorite milkshake, Arby's, like McDonald's, or even homemade milkshake. And you just take the right, perfect amount of banged up Oreos, like the mint Oreos though, the ones that only come out like... Yeah, the dope Oreos. Yeah, the dope Oreos <laughs> that you only find occasionally in certain aisles of certain stores. And you just get that creation and you mix it to perfect proportions. Yeah. But how's your drink? Honestly, like, okay, so I got this because I heard it'd be best to get a fruity flavor, but they have. They have easily over 50 flavors here. I'm not even kidding. So pretty much what I can say is it is one of the coolest drinks I think I've had because like I said, I've never had bubble tea. And I was expecting the beads at the bottom, as you can see, those uh, circles are the beads, the tapioca beads. I was expecting them to be like chewy or like, you know, like a yogurty kind of right. substance. But they just pop. They actually like, yeah, it's just like pop with <laughs> flavor. It's so dope, man. And like, I mean, you saw me stab through the lid, so it's a very unique drink. And I'm, uh, I'm already impressed. Like, and I've only had like three sips of this shit, man. Hell yeah, man. This is the fourth or fifth time I've been here. I've only gotten shakes, different flavors, and every time it's been good. So yeah, dude. I mean. There's, there's, you, you, there's just not much you can say. Yeah, it's just, it hits the back of your face, and right. you just want to keep drinking it. Yeah. So honestly, but, man, if I was gonna give it a toasty rating, this is yeah, like, I'm curious just, to hear this. Toasty. Out of five, out of five, man. Like, five all day. I got, I gotta, I gotta give it up to them. They know what they're, they know what they're doing here. They, uh, they got a good handle on the recipe. The prices are cheap. This is a medium. But their large is actually much larger, and I think it's only like a dollar extra. Yeah. Or maybe not even. Four ninety five, as opposed to four twenty five. Yeah. So yeah. Not seventy even. cents. Yeah, and the only reason I didn't get a large is because I, I honestly didn't feel like I needed it. Plus, we're gonna get some lunch after sure. this shit. So. Um, yeah. I so, mean, what do you think, man? Yeah, I'd have to probably agree. This, 
there's not much wrong with this milkshake for me. I like the flavor, and I think pretty much everybody, unless you're like a communist and not like the cool uh, European communists, like the <laughs> Chinese communists, they don't like milk, uh, they like milk chocolate chip ice cream or shakes. <laughs> but um, five t -t -t toasties all day. So, you know, it, it seems like they like because this is this kind of shop. They really specialize in these kinds yes. of drinks, so they really take their time with them. And I mean, like when I first walked in here, it smelled awesome. And, yeah, it smelled um, like straight buttery popcorn yeah, and candy. Yeah. And, Which I mean, we haven't even eaten today, no. so we're like, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs>